Hello people, I have got interesting video for you. When you work with open tools application, free uh, open source 2D animation software. Uh, the most important thing, because I, I correct my animation and I will show you how to get back the specific frame. As you notice, uh, we have current frame and markers. Uh, I I find it uh, to be useful. For example, if you only if you only want to work with single frame, and the thing is, when you save a project, you have to get back to first frame and save all. Otherwise, you may lose your projects and your uh, separate files because. If you select wrong frame not the beginning and you save all, you may lose some of your files. I don't know if they fixed that or not. And I will show you files uh, because this is uh, that project. Uh, everything has been saved to uh, specific, specific format. No, this is wrong catalog this is where I keep my separate files that is why I show the to you how to save a project we also have like public files because I use the raster level so I can blend the colors together uh, because it supports my paint brush my paint brushes library because I don't know how many people you know you have three different modules when you work with application uh, I will uh, tell you straight away Uh, drawing if and five PNG format. We have raster level, tools raster level, tools vector level. That second one does not support my paint library brushes. I use my paint application. Open tools is one of the applications which uses my main library brushes they have been they had been implemented uh like uh, four years ago or even more than that i just wanted to tell you because some of the colors i blended already i will show you character you can do amazing stuff with one of the brushes. I shouldn't talk about it, but I will quickly show you. Uh, wait a minute, I used the wrong level. You can smudge colors if you use smudge brush. Depending what type of the brush it is. Acrylic and smudge brush. You also have set. You also have settings. How long will it take to smudge a color? That is why. I, I'm using this uh, uh, module, but in this video tutorial, I want to show to you how to get back to fast frame when you only want to use markers and focus on specific frame. Because we currently edit, I'm currently editing that character. If you want to quickly get back, you can use option last frame, and you are here. But you cannot get back to press to first frame unless you use markers. 
I think I find it to be useful because I can quickly get back to one of the specific frames. And also, when you want to adjust, when you want to adjust onion skin, you can use uh, multiple AI, multiple onion skins. Uh, how to say uh, templates, or you can use uh, onion skin in real time when you scrub, uh, and when you go across your animation, you can see to adjust the basic, you can go to file references, onion skin, and you have to use a little bit higher value to make it more transparent. If you decrease value, uh, onion skin will not be uh, very transparent. But you can always change this color. Okay, you can uh, decrease this instead. Let's check 85. Depending what color you will use, you can either uh, change color here, or you can either adjust how color, how intensive color must be. What about 70? I think that value uh, should be okay. Uh, depending what do you want to draw and how are you feeling comfortable to draw? Uh, I think I will leave as it was before. Because sometimes it's hard to see what you erase when you have onion skin value wrong. And also we have got import export. This is nice feature. Uh, uh, you have to download the latest FMEG codec. But I like very much this feature because the rendering does not take longer time as it used to take in the past. Okay, I only wanted to talk about how to, how to focus on specific frame. Even if you get back to frame 90, frame 19, and you only want to focus, uh, for example, frame 19, you use an uh, option first frame and last frame, and you only will be focused on frame 19. I hope you like my video.